Hey everybody! Hi guys! Mr. and Mrs. Traveling here. Still Pop Studio Channel. Coming to you with a 2017 version of What the Pack on a Cruise. Yes, things you need, things you may forget, and things that you need to watch before you go ahead and pack for your next cruise. We got you covered. Yep, some things are new, some things are removed because uh, things have changed over the course of time. Most notably, uh, bringing bottles of water on ships. So I no longer uh, have that as a recommendation for bringing water on a ship because many of the cruise lines now ban it uh, for various reasons. They're using the excuse that uh, people are sneaking liquor aboard the ship disguised as water. Right. Um, you know, which is true. I do, you know, we do know people who have personally have done that. Um, and, you know, I, I don't like when people do that, but... Um, then the other portion, of course, is it's revenue for them. You know, they, they make money on selling their water, which is, of course, uh, much higher than what you would pay at your local store. So that being said, it is what it is, and so we no longer have that as recommendations. Right. So I've kind of got things broken down into categories for you today. Um, I have medical needs, personal and hygienic needs, electronics, and then miscellaneous items. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll start with the medical needs, and we'll move on down. So let's start with your prescriptions. Yep, you want to make sure that you bring, most notably, uh, bring your pain relief medicine and allergy medicine. Um, we always bring some kind of uh, decongestant, as you can see here, the Sudafed, and sometimes it would be Theraflu. Um, you know, I, I tend to suffer from uh, uh, getting sinus, head, you know, sinus cold sometimes uh, from going in and out of the hot and the cold. Uh, and the medicine on board the ship is very expensive. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to try to bring some of that with you. It doesn't take up a lot of room in your suitcase. Just throw it in there just in case. It's good to have. Yep. Next, I would like to talk about some sunscreen. I like to pack this first. This is the first thing I love to pack because I burn faster than Mr. Traveler. And when I'm out in the sun enjoying the water, I like to enjoy the water without being burnt. So you want to make sure... You pack sunscreen because even on the cloudy days, you still get burnt. Okay, and in case you do get burnt. <laughs> if you do suffer burn, you want to have aloe vera with you. This is cooling gel. We picked it up from Walgreens for about $5. And I actually, this is good, but I actually prefer the spray version of this myself better because it's not as thick as this. Mm -hmm. The spray version, you can just kind of spray it over you and just keep spraying it every, you know, every 20, 30 minutes or whatever. Right. So I prefer that. Okay. Um, of course, bring you a little first aid kit. Bring some band-aids with you. Uh, always bring some Neosporin. It helps aid in healing quickly. So band-aids and Neosporin are a must. Mm -hmm. um, going on to the hygienic area, you want to talk about your wipes? Yes. I take baby wipes with me. This is the second most important things I take with me. These are baby wipes. I like to take them with me because the sand is everywhere when you come out the ocean and you also want to make sure you clean yourself off when you are out of the salt water. So I love to use baby wipes all the time. Yep, and she normally has a container with more of a travel friendly container, yeah, a little bit smaller. smaller. Uh, just real quick, just the basic stuff, of course, don't forget to bring your, your toothbrush, your, uh, your mouthwash. Mm -hmm. All these items are very expensive on the ship, so you want to try to remember to bring them. Yeah, um, you know, your travel size lotions are good. Mm -hmm. Always bring our loose with us. I like to bring a scrubby because you can throw these away. We don't keep them, but we actually throw them away because they hold bacteria, but they get you really clean, and that way you won't have to worry about if the washcloths are clean inside the cabins or not. So I like to have one of these. Yeah, well. and they're pretty cheap. Like They're like 99 cents at Walmart mm -hmm. or Walgreens and stuff. So, um, Shampoo and conditioner we always bring with us. Now, most of the cruise ships do have... Uh, a shampoo uh, dispenser inside the shower um, but I don't know it's just a personal preference of ours we prefer to bring our own with us and these are very small and this is a, a plenty for both of us to use um, through the course of a seven-day cruise oh. <laughs> I almost dropped it there okay talk about your sand sanitizer I always say sand sanitizer because I always say it backwards <laughs> this travel always laugh at me but I always take some hand sanitizer with me. This is Bali Coconut Cove from Bath and Body Works. I really love the different smells. They come in different fragrances. And I really like to use these when I'm at the beach. 
on the island and there is no soap in the bathroom. So I have to use hand sanitizer. Sand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. Okay. And we like to bring our little toiletries as yeah. well. That goes with the toothbrush and stuff. Yeah, we have yep. a little uh, small container of uh, Q-tips. Yep. Those are always handy to have. This is probably one of the most important <laughs> items. Yes. <laughs> when you're living in close quarters for about a week or two, you want to make sure you have some air freshener because you cannot use a candle on board. So I like to take my little tiny um, air fresheners to freshen up and I like an odor eliminating spray because it takes care of the entire cabin and it freshens up your room as well. So I just spray a little bit and a little goes a long way. Air freshener. And Don't forget it. FYI, friendly tip, this uh, sand sanitizer, <laughs> the hand sanitizer that we got, we got this at Bath and Body Works, yep. also doubles as a really good air freshener. Yes, it smells really good. So in a pinch, go with that too. Yes, you can either use the air freshener or the hand sanitizer. I always make sure I bring my nail clips with me. Uh, you never know, well, for obvious reasons, your nails or whatever, but mm -hmm. um, you can also use them to, maybe you bought some new clothes and you forgot to cut the strings off. Yes, you don't want to tear your clothes, so go ahead and clip it with a nail clip. Or maybe you have a string on your clothes or something coming loose. Right. These always come in handy. They do carry come in with handy. You. So that's nail clip. Uh, that's kind of it for the hygienic and the medical items. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to miscellaneous, or yeah, let's go on to the miscellaneous items next. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes we'll grab these in a smaller, in a smaller size. Uh, the Lysol wipes. Uh, we'll, sometimes we we'll get that flat container, yes. or we'll put these. Uh, we'll take some of these out and put them into a, uh, a sandwich bag, so it doesn't take up as much room. I like to use these because I wipe down the toilets, I wipe down the sinks, I wipe down the entire room when we go into the cabins because you don't. They clean them, but you want to make sure it's sanitized as well. I, um, the crew is very busy, but we want to make sure we clean it ourselves. So if you want to be safe like I am, you want to make sure you clean those germs and viruses and bacteria. Yep. Dis disinfect some wipes. So like the first day on the cruise, we'll grab these and, um, you know, wipe down the door handles, the uh, the sinks, the yep. sink handles, you know, just the common areas where you touch the phone and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So let's talk about some of the mis miscellaneous items. Okay. Um, always bring singles and fives and maybe some tens with you. I would get maybe like a hundred dollars in uh, singles, fives, and tens, and uh, you know that's for your tips. You want to, you know, you're gonna have to tip the guys. Uh, you maybe get off the airplane, you have to tip the uh, porters at the airport. Then you're gonna have a cab driver, you got to tip them. And you get to the port, you're gonna have the porters that take your luggage aboard the ship. You're gonna have to tip them. You're gonna be on the islands doing different things. You might be on a cab, you have to tip them. So, uh, you want to make sure that you have plenty of money uh, to be able to do those tips without having to break any big bills or anything. Uh, of course, if you do forget, the ship will break money for you at the uh, guest services desk or the casino. So, uh, no worries there, but I try to like to have mine ahead of time, bring it with me, one less thing to worry about. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, don't forget your sunglasses. Yes. Don't forget your sunglasses. Uh, I always have my my uh, expensive pair that I wear like when I get on the ship and we're walking around on the ship and then they have our beach friendly pair which these are the uh, Del Sol's mm -hmm. which these are, have a lifetime warranty on them. I love the Del Sol glasses. These are Mrs. Travelers. Yep. Um, and matter of fact my Del Sol ones I'm going to have to turn them in because they're getting scratched around the edges so I'm going to take them with me and um, try to get them exchanged. So, but they're really good for the beach and the water on it. I love them. I don't have to worry about really losing them or anything like that. They'll even, they'll even warranty you if you lose them. That's why I love them. So, they'll sew sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Oh, here you go, Miss Travis. That's yours. I like to take, I like to take a fan with me on the beach because it's so hot out there. And I like to collect these guys too as well. Um, I got this one in Cozumel, Mexico. They're handmade and they support the community when you buy them. Um, it comes in handy. It's very hot outside, and you want to cool off a little bit, so I just take a fan with me, and I pack it inside my beach bag. I take it with me everywhere. I just leave it inside my beach bag. I never take it out, but it's so pretty. It's handmade, too, and mm -hmm. it's wooden. Very pretty. How about this? Is that a lightsaber or what? I always forget to... <laughs> 
You, the last thing you want to do on formal night is look for a safety pin like me. And I always just take a whole bunch of them and I just leave them inside my carry-on. And I just throw a bunch of them in there because a button can pop off, a zipper can break, anything can happen. And it's detrimental on formal night. So, so you, you want to make sure you throw in some pins. That way you can have a fastener without the button. <laughs> yep. Because I have popped my button on my shorts before too. So that's not a good, good thing either. Mm -hmm. Uh, snorkel gear. If you got it, bring it. Um, you know, if you do the excursions on the ship, they will include snorkel gear. Mm -hmm. But if you're anything like us, A, I'm kind of like germaphobic and I'm freaked out by using the mouthpiece that other people have been on. Me too. Um, but we've been on so many trips. We go to the beach and stuff so much. It was worth the investment getting a really nice pair. You can get prices when you go to each island and you have to rent. Yes. So you want to make sure you bring your own. And sometimes you may want to go explore on your own, which, you yes. know, we always suggest. It's an investment. Go and in, invest in some really good snorkel gear. In, any sports utility store will have them. I happen to get those at Dick's, actually. Mm-hmm. How about those, honey? Next is my favorites. I like to collect these guys. These are towel clips. I had a lot of people ask me on my videos, what are those? They're towel clips. They clip to the top of the towel. They clip to the top of the beach chair and they clip your towel down, especially when it's windy. And they come in a variety of colors and sizes. You can get any kind of animals you want to. And I think they're so cute to collect. I have a bunch of them. I think they're really cute. And that way you won't lose your chair. Or you can just go ahead and claim your chair with them. Although the cruise lines don't like when we leave our towels on the chairs all day but at least you'll be able to find them yes you, you don't want to like, claim a chair too early but you know if you're just going like, to get your chair and we're going to get some breakfast and come right back down that's yeah, fine yeah so i love my towel clip take them in here they're, they're only about two dollars this is always handy for the beach i like to use this when i'm at the beach and i'm trying to keep everything from not having sand inside it and you also want to store your room key it's waterproof that's why it's so hard for me to open it there it goes. This is a waterproof case. You can swim with this as well. We got this from Norwegian Cruise Line. And you can hide things in there and tie it to you. It has a little buckle at the top. You can attach it inside your swim trunks if you're a guy. Or if you're a girl, you can wrap it around yourself. And it, it keeps everything in there nice tidy without be, getting wet. Yep. If you're worried about your stuff, leaving up on the beach, you can put your room key, your credit card, your money in there. Close it up. It was a water seal tight. Yeah, it's very but, uh, hard to get into. They had a rope on there, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and we put it around our neck. And, yep. you know, you just want to hang out in the water. Yep, so that's how that thing. works. Also, you want to make sure you take some luggage tags. Everybody's luggage looks just the same when it's coming out on a belt. The last thing you want to do is get somebody else's luggage. We have done that before. We picked up somebody else's luggage instead of our own, so we had to find them. Thank God they had a note inside we can find them and we can switch our luggages back. But you want to tag on a luggage. The last thing you want to do is look for your luggage at the last minute. And you want to just grab your luggage and go when you're on vacation. You don't want to waste any time. So I like to pick up these little cute little luggage tags. I have a whole little collection of these as well. Yeah, they really help identify your luggage because more and more of the luggage is looking the same. It used to be everybody had black luggage and so you yeah. got a different color luggage to separate it. But now even that's... Right. Um, even that's come hard to do. And I like how it has, you can write your name on the back of it. Of course, guys, uh, a very important staple, especially for the beach, is to bring a nice hat that covers you up from the sun because it can get brutal out there. You can get, you know, sun just beating down on you. I love these fishermen hat. Uh, I don't think they're the most stylish thing ever, but um, they're really great on beach days or when I go fishing and things like that. It just really helps keep your head cool and keep that sun off you from getting burned. So make sure you bring a good hat, even if you just bring your baseball hat or whatever. You want something to cover up your head so you don't get, you know, heat stroke or get your head burned if you've got short hair like me. I'm going to jump to the electronic stuff. Don't forget to bring your camera. Yes. Um, I always bring a couple of different cameras, but of course we're working and vacationing at the same time. Um, but I'll bring a regular camera and then I also bring my, uh, for picture taking, I also bring my uh, my video cam for uh, you know underwater for vlogging this is like two cameras out of like five or six we have we have a lot of cameras 
but this is the Olympics. We like this one for picture taking, and then we also have a GoPro as well. Yeah, we're doing electronics. Well, I've been promising people would do an electronics. Comment below if you want Mr. <laughs> Traveler to do electronics I got travel bunch. video. We I got a bunch of stuff. Um, these are very handy to have. Now, in our past videos, we brought our big Bose speaker with us. It's not big. You know, it's a portable Bose speaker. But um, these beach speakers are waterproof and, uh, you know, very uh, packing friendly. They don't take up a lot of room. They're very efficient. Um, you know, they're water resistant. I don't want to say they're waterproof. And also you can't, sand resistant. Yeah, you can't take it under water with you or anything like that. But it'll be fine on the beach if you touch it with your wet hands. Water resistant. Mm -hmm. uh, but it puts out some really nice sound. You can clip it right to your beach chair or whatever you got going. I like this speaker because it's not annoying to other people. It, it has a nice little bass and tremble to it and it's not loud and then you can hear it right at your beach chair. Right. You're not, like you're not disturbing the peace with everybody else. Right. So. Okay. So this is my controversial item. Um, <laughs> it has become such a topic of controversy and that is my power strip. Now most of the cruise lines have banned uh, surge protectors because uh, you know it does something to the electrical system on the ship uh, you know I don't, I don't know I'm not an electrical engineer so I don't know particularly however this is a power strip and the box even said that it's power strip and the thing it says it's somewhere in the back here um, I have never had this taken from me I know there are people saying they took my power strip and I don't know uh, why. the only time I ever had an issue with it was in Miami and it was the um, security personnel when I went through before we got on the ship and they were giving me a hard time about it. And, and I told them that their policy says no surge protectors and that this is not a surge protector. It's a power strip. Mm -hmm. And they gave it back to me begrudgingly, but they did give it back to you me. You don't have to hand it over unless you have a reason. So make sure you stick up for yourself. Yeah. So I still bring mine. Um, we got this one. One of our subscribers showed it to us. Uh, it was at Big Lots. Mm -hmm. It's nice because it has, you can plug your cell phone right into there as well. Um, and we need it because we got so much electronics with us. So mm -hmm. um, I still bring mine. It hasn't been taken yet. If I ever get it taken, I will let you guys, you guys will be the first to know. Um, but I still bring mine. You can comment below on that one. It's always a controversial subject. So. Okay, this is newer to our to our list. Mrs. Traveler actually got me these. Um, if you're gonna go somewhere, uh, you know, like Alaska or like we're going to Hawaii, um, invest in a really good pair of binoculars. I mean, they don't have to be top of the line, but you don't want to get anything really cheap either. I think these are a good middle of the road pair of binoculars. They're really nice. Um, we took them to Alaska. It was really great to see the wildlife up and close. You could see the bears on the right. on the shores we were going by, get up close view of whales and things like that. Uh, even the Caribbean cruises are great because you can see like the flying fish coming out of the water. And you can look at them, or when you're pulling into port, you can look on the shore and stuff. So it's just fun for those of us who are uh, you know nosy and explorers and yeah and adventurers and things like that. I love my binoculars. I also like to look at the islands when we pull in the shore and the birds. Yes. So, grab yourself a good pair of binoculars. They're yeah, worth it. They're fun. Uh, don't forget your phone cords. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like to put all my phone cords inside my sunglass case. That way you can keep them all together at once if they can fit in there. But I like to store them all together in one place so we won't lose them. Of course, guys, you know my favorite way to keep everything together is in this envelope. So, I can just tuck it into my... Uh, front of my suitcase or my book bag, whatever I'm bringing with me, but I've got all of our uh, travel documents, everything in order in here. Mm -hmm. um, but in here, of course, you don't want to forget your passport. If you don't have a passport, we highly recommend that you get one. Uh, you know, I have a feeling that down the road here, sooner or later, it's going to be a requirement for all the cruises. Right now, you can still get on the Caribbean and, and uh, uh, Bahamas and all that with a, a birth certificate and driver's license. But if something should happen to you while you're on one of those foreign islands, you're going to have a difficult time getting home without having a passport. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's so much easier if you have a passport. It's well worth the investment for adults. They're good for 10 years. Um, so do yourself a favor. Get a passport. You don't have to use a manila envelope like I do, but uh, that's the best tip is to keep all your travel documents together even if you really don't need them like I have my our hotel check-in stuff and all that in here 
and you know all, all that stuff's electronic but I like to keep the paper version with us just in case you never know if something happens I can whip that paper out and say well here's my you know here's my stuff right here um, so it's always good to have and again I have everything in chronological order um, that for the duration of our trip he's very organized I like that yes indeed. <laughs> and to keep all of our beach stuff organized and together <laughs> Is this beach bag? This is my mother's beach bag. I wanted to show it, but I, this is my favorite so far. It's pink on the inside, and I think we picked it up from Walmart. <laughs> but we want to throw everything that's on this table inside this beach bag. Make sure you don't forget your beach bag. Well, all the beach stuff anyway. So our, all the beach stuff. Our our radios, our towels go in there. Our sunblock goes in there. Yes, everything. Our, you know. You want to take a beach bag. Just toss your stuff in there and away you go. Yes, and if you don't have a beach bag, then make sure you take a book bag. That'll come in handy as well. You can also use a book bag. Yep. yep. All right, guys. So I think that that'll just about do it for this year. I think that'll do it for this go around here. Um, you know, I, I know this is not an all-inclusive list, but this is the main things that we bring with us. Uh, again, you know, like the Lysol wipes, the baby wipes that we'll take and we'll put them into... Uh, like sandwich baggies or something like that to keep them moist uh, but yeah so this is not an all-inclusive list uh, everybody but this is this is the main things that we bring with us that we find very useful on our trips and, and uh, you know all the comforts of home per se and uh, again you know we take some of the bigger things like the Lysol wipes and the baby wipes and we'll put them into like sandwich baggies to keep mm -hmm. them moist yes um, but so that it takes up less room and sometimes it, you are able to find the travel version of these lights on the baby wipes uh, so far around our house we haven't found them just yet so mm -hmm. we're still learning our neighborhood yes we just moved here but we like to downsize all these things but we made them bigger so you can see them and the worst thing you want to do is leave something at home then you get on a ship you paying triple quadruple the price so you want to make sure you take everything with you including your prescriptions don't forget your prescriptions because they are so much more money on a cruise you want to make sure you don't forget anything that you would need for like a week or two yeah i would i'd agree with you i think that's probably the the, the, the most expensive thing to forget is medicine like if mm -hmm. you know you have allergies yes. or if you have sinus problems or, or you catch some, a cold or bring some cold medicine with you because that's those cold medicines are like 13 14 15 dollars on that's, the ship that's pricey compared to three or four dollars back at home yeah so you know just take it with you and if you don't need it that's great but if you do need it you'll have it and if anybody have any suggestions our subscribers are the best they cruise all the time, so could you help the rest of the first time cruises down below and list a comment and let us know what's your favorite thing to take on the cruise carry-on or in your luggage. Well, that's it for 2017, guys. That's it. So remember, life's short. Have fun. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.